Hello Kings, Queens, Nerds, and Geeks, Crowder Milk here, and welcome back to another video. It's been a while, I'm back, and, and we're, today we're actually doing a game video today. So, um, also yes, I look different. Um, I'm in my new house that I bought, so uh, it's a bit messy right now, uh, a little bit messy right now. This is actually my bedroom, and um, uh, we're uh, currently unpacking everything. The house is still a bit chaotic. So, but we're in the process of that, but I had the, the, the fortune to be able to record my computer again. So, today we are playing the test. Now, guys, uh, I saw Markiplier play this game and I was really curious because there's actually a series of games like this and they're all psychologically based. So, let's um, start a new game. Uh, right there, okay. It's made with the, um, the, with the, what is it, the RPG Maker? Why is this room so fucked up? <laughs> now, in order to begin, this is, okay, so, uh, so I, what I know about this game is that you have to be honest, and honesty is my, it, honesty is my thing, I will probably never lie to you, but, um, uh, yeah. I just lost my train of thought for a sec there. Um, yeah, so the game is about honesty, and apparently it messes with your mind. Now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of the entire experience. Okay, you'll be asked a series of questions, and you must answer them honestly. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with the truth, even if it's hard to face. We all want to be good people. We rarely want to admit our faults, differences, and or mistakes. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly, or do you want the truth about yourself, oh, or uh, your destiny in this world, or you would rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? This process is very simple in theory. Just answer her a long series of questions. What is difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truth in your own mind and life so that you can predict your future. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This will uh, tell you the things you already know, but doesn't necessarily know, but don't necessarily know that you know. As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true. This process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. <clears throat> this isn't psychic. It isn't a personality test. It's simple nature. This is you. This is your own mind. <clears throat> this is simply the nature taking its course. This is the human brain at work unlocking hidden truths within itself. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you often wonder things like, well, this, an this answer demands on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with simple yes or no and uh, uh, as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation and require to answer your questions the way it needs to be answered. Invite you to grab a drink, ink, ink of water, sit back, relax, enjoy the experience. We're about to begin the series of questions, providing that you are willing to participate. We'll, we will be unlocking some substantial information today. Here we go. Do you believe everyone should be treated fairly? Now, that's actually a very good question. Uh, should everyone be treated fairly? As you said, the circumstances... Uh, if, uh, it all depends on the circumstance, of course. And, um, let's see. But answering the, just based on the circumstance, that already answers my question, which is the answer is no. But, yeah, let's say, should a murderer be treated fairly? Should a rapist be treated fairly? Or should a pedophile be treated fairly? The answer is no. Well, do you believe everyone should be treated equally? Hmm, that kind of goes down the same path as what I was thinking about. Just treated fairly and treated equally. 
Because would you treat uh, a murderer the same way uh, you treat a normal per uh, innocent bystander? No, not everyone should be treated equally. Mostly, it depends on your morality, I guess, but or your overall morality. Now, I wouldn't say morality. I'd say your overall, generally being a good person. Morality is subjective. Have you ever invented anything? I've invented recipes, so yeah. Uh, no. I don't really give a shit about investments, so I don't think I'm worth the time. Do you consider yourself to be open-minded? Yes, very, very open-minded. Would you say you sometimes have trust issues? Yes, I have large trust issues. Would you be alright with living alone forever? Hmm... Okay, that's a question. I have a wife and kid now, and that's kind of new. That's a whole, whole experience, but I can't imagine what it'd be like to have have them, have them to, to live without them, you know? And it's hard to think about that. And, uh, I think. Let me give them a think here. If, say if I never met them, I'd probably be dead. Probably would have killed myself, to be honest. I, I probably would have. So I'm going to go with the answer no. I do give people the benefit of the doubt. I do do that. I have trust issues, but I am going to give you the benefit of the doubt in hopes that you go against my instincts. Do you dislike the sound of your own voice? Eh, I'm a bit neutral about it, so I don't really give a shit. Do you like the color blue more than the color black? Eh, I'm not a big fan of the color blue, to be honest. Yeah, again, I don't really a big fan of any color, really. I just don't care. If you found money on the street and knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I probably wouldn't. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? I guess. I don't care. Are you afraid of spiders? Yes and no. I don't, I'm not afraid of spiders. I don't care if they're around. Just don't touch me. I don't like things touching me. I don't... Yeah, I don't like most things touching me. Sometimes uh, being touched at the wrong time, even by my wife, is a bit uncomfortable. If you knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump in the multiple? Well, fuck yeah, I would. That sounds fucking awesome. Imagine how hot it would be. Or, oh, how therapeutic for your back. Oh, just the thick, hot, hot, because if you come back unscathed, it's not going to hurt you, obviously. So, uh, yeah, I would do that for my back. Would you consider yourself to be fat? No, I'm pretty skinny. Would you say you have lots of charisma? Would I say I have lots of charisma, or do I have lots of charisma? Now, I, if I'd say no, people would probably tell me yes, but I, I think no. Have you ever wished you could be temporarily frozen? Not really. This is all very interesting. Do you realize that the last letter of the previous five questions had spelled the word Satan? No, I didn't. Does that make you uncomfortable? Uh, not really, no. Are you good at finding hit, hidden puzzles or clues? Yes, if I'm looking for them. Are you not wondering if there are other hidden messages placed in these questions? Not really. Have you been recently honest with your answers thus far? Yeah? So, pretty much. Are you afraid of the consequences of answering dishonestly? Not really. Were you aware that there were potential consequences of answering dishonestly? No. Are you wondering how these questions began to take a strange turn? Not really. It's a video game, plus you're a bit of horror theme, but honestly, look at the background. It's quite obvious why. 
Would you consider yourself captivated? Ah, to be honest, I'm really not. <laughs> Very interesting. Would you consider yourself to be brave? No. Would you consider yourself as someone with above average intelligence? Above average intelligence. Well, I've done the test, so yeah. But I can be a smart, dumb person. But yeah, I have above average intelligence. Have you been looking for hidden messages in these questions? Not really. Are you wondering which messages you may have missed? No. Nah. Have you begun to wonder how long this test will take, or how many questions uh, exist in this session? I'll be honest, not really. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. Would you consider yourself to be a patient person? No. I hail to the no. I am not a patient person. <laughs> yes, most humans fucking annoy me. I really, I really don't like people. No, to be honest, I don't prefer them to people. You believe in magic? No, fuck that. You believe in God, the existence of a higher power? No. Do you fear death? Yes and no. I, I only fear the outcome of death. Not the actual death. I fear the outcome, like what would happen after I die. But no, I don't fear death. Are you attracted to someone whom is not currently in a, you are, you are not currently in a relationship with? No, I'm married. Did you answer that last question with 100% honesty? Yes. Are you alone? Yeah. Well, no, no. My daughter's in the other room, right? so I'm not alone. If I told you to the utmost certainty that there's someone watching you, would you believe me? Yeah, probably my daughter. So, yeah. Have you wondered who I am? Not giving a fuck. Have you had shivers at any point during the session? Not really, no. Do you feel like you're being watched? Not yet. Oh. Have you considered quitting the session early? Nah, I gotta record. Do you drink water every day? That is a no, I'll be honest. Do you eat at least once per day every day? Yeah, of course. Uh, I need to eat. <laughs> is it? Do you realize that there is possibly a high probability of hit, that, uh, pro high probability that you've missed a plethora of hidden messages thus far? Uh, probably yeah, but I don't care. Are you wondering what they are? No. Would it bother you to never know or finding out yourself? Not really. I can live without it. Is your favorite number seven? No. I don't even have a favorite number. Life is short, but it's the longest thing you'll ever do. Do you agree? Yeah, pretty much. Oranges cannot be compared to apples. Do you agree? Yeah, they can be. They're both fruits, so I can't imagine any other way. Like, I do prefer apples over oranges, like, that is, I, I can, um, so, no, I do not agree they cannot be compared. Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star, did you know that? Yes. Everyone deserves a second chance. No, I think the second chance must be deserving. You can do anything you put your mind to. Yeah, pretty much. Obedience is more important than freedom. No. I totally disagree with that. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. Do you agree? No! So if you've played Subnautica, no! <laughs> Did you realize that the, uh, the, uh, the first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase, I love you? No, because I'm not looking for that shit. Do you wish to be loved? Yeah, I wish to be loved by my daughter. And that's all that really matters, to be honest. Like, if my wife stopped loving me, it would be sad, yes. But the most important thing to me is that my daughter loves me. So, yeah. Have you ever felt hated? 
All the fucking time. Do you have any addictions? Sugar. And caffeine. Do you dislike the color pink? No. Does the color gray seem depressing? Not really. It feels kind of cool, cool to me. Do you enjoy loud music? Fuck yeah, that's one of the reasons why I'm going deaf. Do you like to dance? Oh yeah. Would you consider yourself normal? No. <laughs> Do you love your parents? That is a very, uh, question, because I've recently, uh, heard some... I'm not even sure how I feel about my parents, but if I'm gonna have to go with this answer, I'm gonna go with the answer no. Yes, all the time. Do you get angry often? Quite often. Do you hold grudges? Yes. Have you ever forgiven someone? Yeah, I have. Have you ever done something that you knew you shouldn't have done, but still did it anyway? Yeah, I, I used to be a thief. Have you, ever, have you ever lied? Now, here's this. I am an honest person, but that doesn't mean I haven't lied. If you, if you haven't lied in your life, you are already lying right there. So. Yeah, I've cheated on test. You won't, you won't cheat this test? Do you think flowers are beautiful, more beautiful than trees? No, because some trees are pretty fucking dope. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? No. Do you believe you have psychic psychic powers? No. Ever seen ghosts? Well, thought it did, but no. Do you dream often? Uh, yeah, I kind of, I kind of do. Do you have nightmares often? Not often, but I do have them. Have you suffered from do you suffer from anxiety attacks? Yes, I do. You suffer from depression? Yes. Do you exercise often or stay active? Typically, yes. Is there a particular type of food you despise? Well, liver. I don't like liver. I fucking hate liver. God. Emotionally wounded? Yeah, most definitely. Ever felt betrayed? Often. Do you do you ever feel lost in your life? All the fucking time. Would you consider yourself a natural leader? No. People don't seem to see me as a leader, but I'm not. I don't consider myself a natural leader. If you could push a button and destroy the world, would you press it? Probably, I'll be honest. Uh, humans, this world has fucking gone on too damn long. I'll be honest, I sometimes pretend I'm a hero in scenarios. Mostly because I'm a fucking idiot and a nerd, and I like to imagine myself in the scenarios of anime characters. Oh yeah, I've been bullied before. Have you ever bullied someone else? I'm ashamed to say it, but I have. I hate it. I hate that about myself. I do regret it. Oh yeah, I dream all. I I I yeah, I'm a dreamer. To be precise, I'm a uh, I fantasize. Uh, by the way, the term dream, but I'm interpreting it the term dreamer, as in the philosopher. I tend to philosophize about a lot of shit. You sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally. Oh yeah, who doesn't? Do you find space fascinating? Not really. Would you consider yourself to be an artist? Eh, yes and no, depending on what I'm doing. No, I'm not a good friend. I'm very terrible at communicating. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Yes. Have you ever fantasized about being a supervillain or performing a heinous and egregious crime? All the damn time. Every time I'm angry. Do you believe in perfection? No, I don't believe nothing is perfect. Are you responsible for someone? Yes. Would you ever kill someone under the circumstances? Probably. If you had one day to live, would you tell anyone? That is a good question. I, I, I don't know the answer to this question because 
It's not happening, and I don't know what would happen on that day. If I had to think about it, I'd say no. What would be the point? No, I don't think I have. No, why would I, if I know nothing about you, why would I trust you? No, I don't care to. Well, I know who you are. Creepy. If I ever, if I appear right behind you, would you scream? Well, if you did, and you, that makes you real, and that, yes, that would make me scream. Well, first off, I know you're not behind me. I know you're not behind me. Because I have a fucking camera right there that's showing me everything behind me. Surprisingly, my daughter hasn't walked in this entire time. No, not really. Because uh, I know you're not behind me. Of course not. That would be silly. No, wouldn't it? Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? Yes. But to an extent. I used to be, but I don't think I'm a romantic anymore. Yes, I have been in physical fights. Yes, I am. Do you look at the ground when you walk? Not really. Are you attracted to the opposite sex? Yes. Would you ever shave your head? I've done it already, so... Are you a attract... Act, are you attracted to muscular bodies? Yes, actually. Do you ever dance when no one is looking? Yeah. Do you trust your best friend entirely? Fuck yeah. Do you remember your childhood extremely well? Too well. Would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? Fuck yeah, I would. Do you ever dream about running from a killer? Yeah, sometimes I am the killer. Do you ever dream about falling off a cliff? Yeah. Do you ever dream about being naked in public? I do that. I daydream being naked in public. Do you enjoy uh, scary movies or books? Yeah. Yeah. Mostly the books. Do you enjoy comedic television or shows or movies? Oh, fuck yeah. Not really. I hate being the center of attention. Do you feel like something is always watching you? Actually, um, I'm 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 a P I have PTSD, so that feeling is never going away. So, no, actually, it does go away. It's, it's just there. I can't control it. Not really. I don't want to die. Yes, I have. Have you ever punched a nun? No. <laughs> Do you like dogs better than cats? I have no love or hate for either one. I know cats don't like me, but I don't really care to hate cats like that. No, I have no difference on them. Before you, do you prefer to read than to prefer to watch movies? Yes, I do prefer to read. You are you wondering why I asked you to ever punch it on a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> do you get starstruck easily? Not really. Do you hate going into big parties and social gatherings? Yes. Is your favorite part of your birthday receiving presents? I don't even like my birthday, so. Seriously though, have you ever punched? <laughs> like really, like just bam right in the face, none punch. No. What <laughs> is? Now? Yes! Did you say what the fuck in your head you had or even laugh? I'll, I'll even allow yes! Are you now eager <laughs> to punch a nun? <clears throat> if there's a hell, do you think you're going to it? Probably. Oh yeah, I do love fantasy fiction games, like right now. Do you masturbate frequently? Like, all the fucking time. Like, almost every day. 
sometimes twice. Are you wondering the what constitutes frequently? Now I am. Not really, I'm not a fucking victim. Is your mouth dry? No, I've been drinking soda. Did I answer yes to that last one? Oh well. Does uh, profanely make you un profanely make you uncomfortable? No. Do you believe in the legendary beasts such as the Loch Ness monster or Bigfoot? Not really. Yeah, I'm very poor in money management. Choose one of these numbers that you feel resonates with you the most in this very moment. I say 21. Choose one of these colors that makes you feel like it resonates the most. I'll be honest, I feel like none of these. Like, you know, either. It's a black. I'm gonna go black because it's the base color. It's a color that it's the absence of color. Choose one of these words that you feel that resonates with most of the very moment. I'd say wrecked because I'm tired. Choose one of the words that you feel that resonates with you the most at the very moment. I'd say blessed. I do have a blessed life. So. Choose one of these words that feel resonates with you the most. Okay. I'd say luck. I'm very lucky to say that. Oh yeah, I love solving mathematical puzzles. It's fun. Hello? Rubik's Cubes! Uh, do you speak more er than one language fluently? Uh, no, but I would like to. Have you ever listened to a country? Visited a country other than your own? I was almost to Mexico once, but no. Do you enjoy coffee? Not really. No. 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 Not really. Sharks are only aggressive because they think you're fish or turtles. I do love baths over showers because it allows me to lay down. Does the smell of perfume or cologne give you headaches? So, headaches? Only sometimes. Do you see a shadow move in your room a few minutes, moments ago? No, because I've been staring at this screen this whole time. That's fortunate. Do you ever hear your name being called even though you know no one is calling it? Yes. Do things in your home often go missing when you and then reappear later? Mostly because of my fault. Do you ever hear footsteps around you when you are alone? No, I have a house and I don't believe in ghosts. Do you ever hear random knocking noises around you? Yeah, mostly because shit falling and neighborhood cats. Do you often look at the set a a aim time of the clock every day? Yeah, pretty much. Have you ever felt what felt your feet being grabbed at night while sleeping? No. <coughs> yes, I do have a rat and a bird. Is your favorite color green? No. Used to be, but it's not. Are you attracted to a family member? Sweet home Alabama! No. If you won the lottery, would you share the money with anyone? Probably not. If you could be a dictator of your own country, would you accept the role? No. I don't even want to be in my country. Do you ever wonder what it would be like to be in prison? Yeah. Actually, all the time I do. Do you like fishing? Oh yeah, I love fishing. Do you like hunting? Uh, no. Do you like camping? Yes and no. Mm, no, I don't really like guns, but I do want a gun. Mostly for protection, though. Are you getting tired of answering questions? Not really. I love answering questions. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm definitely kinky. Fuck yeah. Eyes are a window of the soul. Do you agree? Not really. You always keep your promises. Yeah, most of the time, yeah. Would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? 
No. Are you an only child? Nope. I am a one of eight. No, I do not like being drunk. Do you like tattoos? Oh yeah, fuck yeah, I have a tattoo now. Like, seriously, like, come on. And I want another one, but I can't afford it. Oh yeah, I do enjoy being high. Do you believe you have a soul? Did you cry this week? Oh yeah. Are you upset with someone right now? Not particularly, no. Is there someone in you're not being completely honest with? You're not, someone you're not being completely honest with daily? No. Do you understand how this works yet? Not really. If you answer the questions twice, the truth may change. It's not just about answering the questions, it's about the time you spend answering them and the combination of the answer. And it's about many different variables that you'd never guess. You understand? Yeah, somewhat. Are you wondering if the end of this test is coming soon based on your previous question things you've answered? Probably not. If you were right to tell you that there's an entire process which was planted here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself, and anyone else that bothers you is just a byproduct of its intention, would you believe it? Not really. I'm not special. Are you afraid of being abandoned? Not really. Are you afraid of dying alone? No. We all die alone. We all, we all, no one accompanies us to the void. Do you worry that the one day that you will unexpectedly be mur murdered? Not really. I'm not afraid to be killed by someone. Unfortunately, that is true because of a byproduct of my PTSD. Do you feel like I know I know you yet? Probably not. You don't really know me. I haven't really told you much about me except these uh, yes or no questions. Not really. I've been hearing my daughter giggle in the background. I think we have enough information about you, whether we skip you skip questions or answering honestly or dishonestly. It took lo loads of time to respond or answer quickly without reading or understanding properly. I've been able to tell. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging. <laughs> Based on what you told me, this is what I can conclude. <clears throat> people don't under understand you completely, do they? You're a lot more complicated than people think you are. They, they don't give you enough credit. Because you can't understand, you they can't understand what you are go uh, going on deep inside. You may not always like everything about yourself, but you may even give yourself way too hard of a time. But trust me, you got some natural talents that will take take you very far in life. It's imperative that you embrace that fact. The only way you're going to fail is if you're going to let the doubts of others pull you down. The only way you're going to fail is if you start believing that others may think you think of you. Do not let, let them win. You're one of a kind, truly remarkable. As a, a matter of fact, I get a sense that you don't even realize you understand how, how special you can be. But ultimately, your path is entirely up to you. There's a strong possibility that you're going to let it all slip away just as easily as you become an incredibly successful star. But the results are yours and for the taking. Not everyone ha has that luxury. You, however, do. So, my advice to you is you listen to your gut. Go out there, get the life you want to have. Do not live your days in regret. It's not yet, yet, uh, not yet to, to, uh, it's not yet too late. I believe. I just hope that you start believing in yourself and seeing the tr uh, true self-worth. Whoever who your, your dreams are, whatever your goals in life, double it. That's the minute. That's the minimum of what you're uh, capable of accomplishing. Please, don't squander your opportunities. And for the love of life, don't settle. Your secret word is blessings. 
Just remember the world. Cool. That'll come in handy. Okay, let's write that down. I'm gonna write that down. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna use Google real quick. Okay. Alright, we're gonna use Google Docs. So, I'm gonna write it down over here. Sophie, what are you doing in there? I forgot that I had to sign in my fucking name because I'm a fucking idiot. Start with the blank one, and we're gonna type in blessing. Okay, the test. We're gonna type in blessing. All right. Take the secret word that you assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it in the com in the comments for us. You will be select. Uh, we will select some of you based on your answers that to be included in the future project we are currently working on. Don't, don't be afraid. This is an opportunity to be a part of history. A chance you be a part of something greater. But it sure is a secret word in your comments. Please note your secret word in your comments. If you do not wish to be a part of a upcoming project, simply leave your secret word in your co uh, comments, and we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all comments you leave them thoroughly. Thank you for taking time to answer these questions. I know that they've been and uh, uh, they've been some help to you, but if they aren't yet, it will all take se uh, make sense very soon. Trust me on that. You can find the test hypothesis rising in the test final revelation, the test chamber or on Steam if you enjoyed installment. You can also find the journey series, the advisor series, which is, we encourage you everyone. If you'd like to support us further in our games, you'll find a link to our titles in the title screen, the game and game section, our other games. Thank you so much for support. We appreciate it. That's it. Well, anyway, guys, anyway, I guess that's all we have for today. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later. And stay dirty, my friends. Bye-bye.